in San Diego within the last 30 minutes, regional leaders announced financial help is on the way for nonprofit organizations. Those groups are helping San Diegans affected by the coronavirus. Tanya reporter Marie Cornell is live downtown. Marie, they are calling this a community response fund. Yeah, Virginia, so this news conference uh, that you see behind me is uh, just winding down now, but uh, we have learned that they are joining cities like L.A. and other cities in the Bay Area that have already created a fund like this. So earlier, county leaders and the head of different organizations like San Diego Gas and Electric, the Labor Council, and the United Way of San Diego, they made the announcement that there was one3 million dollars set aside in a community response fund to help those financially that have been affected by the coronavirus. This will help them pay for food, rent, paying for utilities, and will serve as income replacement. This comes as school districts in the area close schools, forcing parents to stay home from work as they figure out what to do with child care. This is also after Governor Newsom's announcement that he wanted bars, nightclubs, wineries, breweries, and pubs to close. Again, he's also asked restaurants to cut their capacity by half and practice social distancing. So this has many employees worried about businesses closing and leaving them without a paycheck. That's why county leaders say, aside from trying to contain this virus, this is also a huge part in taking care of those in the county. Fear will also not help anyone who doesn't have the ability to put food on the table. Fear will not help anyone pay the rent. Fear will not help keep anyone in their house. All of us turning that fear into action, both to adhere to the best practices and guidance that we've been given, but also turning it into action that we can take a step to help one another. And so we're told the fundraising efforts will continue. And as far as these grants, they will be given on a rolling basis, which is basically based on when these applications arrive. Live from downtown, Marie Cornell, 10 News.